Hello all and welcome to Wow well Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are making this gorgeous little St. Patrick's Day bow tie. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It comes complete with a strap as well. So your fella can wear this bow tie under his shirt collar. Now we're going to use the same yarn we used to make his coaster. Notice how it's for him. <laughs> it can be for her if you like to. <laughs> we're going to use the same yarn as we used for the coaster. Now the coaster, if you are interested in making the coaster, I will leave a link to the coaster in the description box down below. You can go ahead and make that in the meantime today we are making this gorgeous piece now for this piece you will need obviously you will need that thread which is the cotton peppermint we used it is an eight ply we used a four millimeter hook no we didn't it calls for a four millimeter hook yours truly used the four and a half all right so then we went on to using a little bit of the black and a little bit of the yellow to make the um the threads here now i use cotton you can use wool, you can use anything you like for your bow tie. I actually did do the tutorial in adjustment sizes, so that's actually on the largest size. Then you've got a medium buttonhole there and a medium and a small buttonhole here. So you can actually move your button over to suit your fella's size. Pretty cool, huh? So we needed our hook. We did use our hook. We needed our darning or sewing needle, our scissors. You need just one button for the top right there. You will need your measuring tape and you will need your patience. <laughs> That's all. It doesn't take too long to make. It is a gorgeous little piece. I'm not going to talk anymore. We are just going to get started with our gorgeous little bow tie. Enjoy, guys. All right, guys. As mentioned in the promo, we are using the 8-ply cotton. It's the same cotton we use to make this gorgeous little St. Patrick's Day coaster. Don't forget, if you want to make this particular coaster, I will leave a link to the coaster in the description box down below. It'll be the very first link you come to. It does call for a 4 millimeter hook. Today, we're using a 4.5 because I want the stitches to be quite visible. Now, um, for this tutorial, you'll also need, obviously, your hook, your scissors, your needle and your measuring tape all right guys so there we go let's pull everything out the way now uh okay what stitches we're going to use today i'm going to use very basic stitches for you guys we're going to start off with the strap of our necktie we will be forming a quick slip knot now Again, if you don't know how to do these stitches, I'll leave links to these stitches in the description box down below and a link from each step that we take. So the first one will be the slip knot. It's very simple. Otherwise, guys, we can do it right now. Yarn over your finger once, yarn over your finger twice, hold it there. Pass your back loop halfway over, hold it there. Pass the other loop all the way over. Whoops. Grab your hook, I wasn't ready there, <laughs> and just give your loop a tug. All right, very basic. So what you're going to do is chain up five. Okay, yarn over hook once, yarn over hook twice, three times, four times, five times. Do we want to make it a little bit bigger? Yep, let's do one more, six. So what we're going to do is pop a single crochet in the very first loop you see. Now a single crochet is just pop your hook in that loop, pull a loop through like so, two loops on your hook, yarn over your hook, pull through two. Okay, we're going to do it again in the very next loop you come to right there. So pop your hook in that loop, pull the loop through or the yarn through, two loops on your hook, yarn over hook, pull through two loops. That's your first one. Oh, your second one, sorry. I told you I can't count. <laughs> and then you do another one, number three. And then you do another one, number four. And then you do another one, number five. Now, remember, this is going to be a very thin band. It's just a band to put underneath the collar of your gentleman's shirt. Okay, so now we're going to turn our work. Any way you like, it can be this way or the other way, it doesn't really matter as long as you're comfortable and stay consistent throughout. Chain one. Now we are going to do half double crochets in the back loops only. Now they are, these are your little V stitches you're looking at. See those little V's right there, V, they look like little V's. Okay, that is your front loop of the V and that is your back loop of the V. Okay, front 
and back. All right, so what we're going to do is put half double crochets in the back. Now your half double crochets is yarn over hook, pop it through that very back loop, first loop you see right there, the back loop, the very first one you see, okay? Yarn over hook, pull up a loop, yarn over hook, pull through all three loops on your hook, okay? Now we're going to do another one in the next stitch. So yarn over hook, go to your back loop right there, yarn over hook, pull up a loop, yarn over hook, pull through all three loops on your hook. And then we're going to do yet again another one. So we're actually doing that all the way across. Too easy so far? Now we're on the second last stitch. Okay, now that last stitch, there is a back loop there. A little bit tricky, okay, but it is there. See there? Right there. All right. All right. Now your next row is going to be a little bit different because we're going to make our very first buttonhole. So turn your work, I'm lying, chain one, then turn your work. Now single crochet in the first stitch, just the whole stitch, not the back loops now, just the whole stitch. Single crochet in your next stitch, okay, chain one and two. Now this is really important, okay? Your that is your going to be your first buttonhole. Now your buttons need to be able to fit through your gap. So what we're going to do, you're going to skip two single crochets. No, you're not. You're going to skip one single crochet and do a single crochet in that second last stitch, right there, one, and a single crochet in that very last stitch. It's a bit of a weird stitch now. It's a bit squishy, but it is there, okay? Because we've got the chain in there as well from before. Just wanted to open up and have a look, see if my button fits through. I'm pretty sure my button does, but you know, we always need to check. Perfect. All right. So my button fits through there. Check your button. Make sure it fits through there. You're going to do the same in about another row. Well, one row of work and then another row of single crochet. So turn your work. I'm lying. Chain one. Keep lying all the time, don't I? Turn your work. We're going to do a row of half doubles in the back loop again. So a row of half double in that first stitch you come to. One. A row of half double in the next. I know I said it'd be easy. It, it, it's, this part here is not easy, but the rest will be once the buttonholes are done. Okay, now remember before when we did our buttonhole, we did two chains. We really only want to put a half double in one of them. Now, if you want, you can actually put it all the way over the buttonhole like so. And I probably would do that. It's not going to hurt. So you do your half double over the whole loop, okay? Then you do a half double in your first half double that you come to, your first stitch you come to, not the middle. So that's one, two, three, and four and then half double in the last. I'm hoping this is not too confusing for you guys. I have put an extra stitch in here in the row before only so it can make the gap wide enough for your button to fit through. Okay, and my button fits through. Just check your button. If your button is slipping through and it's going to come undone, you're better off just doing one chain. Or if it's bigger than this, Take off one of these stitches and do three chains, if it helps you to do it like that. Really, for the collars and the ties and things, you really need to have small um, buttons. Don't make them too large, okay? So we're chaining one, we're turning, we're doing, yet again, another buttonhole, and I'll explain that to you. Actually, I'll explain it now. The length of my um, strap is going to be 17.5 inches. Oh, let me get your measuring tape for a minute. 17.5 inches, which is there, right? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, Mary, <laughs> which is there. So it's about 43 centimeters. That is a large necktie for your partner. Now, if your partner has a, a, sl a slender neck, he's going to want to move his buttons over. Okay, so where I'm putting the buttons is large, medium, and then small. So 
if your fella is a large, has a larger neck, you pop it and your button through this hole. If he has a medium neck, you pop it in the next one. If he's a tiny man, then you pop it in the next one. All right. So it doesn't matter. We are making small, medium, large. If your gentleman has a larger size neck than 17 three quarter inches or whatever it is, what I say, 17 and a half inches, 43 centimeters, something like that, or 40 something centimeters, um, then you need to do your strap longer again and i'll explain that to you towards the end all right so now what we're doing is we're doing single crochet in the first stitch single crochet in your next stitch chain one and two skip one single crochet in that second last stitch single crochet in the last stitch all right and there you go so you chain one you turn and now we're going to do half doubles across okay so half double in that oh it's too far away how did i oh, i moved it away before when i was doing the measuring sorry guys half double in the first stitch half double in your next stitch okay one half double in the middle half double in the next stitch and half double in your last tight stitch not yours mine <laughs> mine's a tight stitch maybe yours is tight too who knows so if you want you can check your button again i'm pretty sure mine fits because we did exactly the same as before and yes it does all right so check your button make sure it fits okay we're going to turn our work yet again um, no, i'm lying we're going to chain one and then turn our work again and we're going to do exactly the same we are going to put um i'm lying we're going to put a single crochet in your first stitch single in your next stitch chain one and two skip one single in that second last stitch single in your last stitch all right beautiful turn i'm lying i keep missing this chain chain one and turn now half double in that first one half double remembers yarn over hook in your first stitch half in your second stitch a bit tight there for me now one half in the middle a half in the middle not one half a half in the middle a half in your next and half in your last okay so you have one two three button holes okay now if you wanted to you can make four you can make five you can make as many button holes as you like but we are going to change to the normal design so we're going to chain one turn yarn over hook this is where the pattern's coming into it now the pattern is going to be half doubles in those back loops again remember that first row we did in the back loops we're going to do that again half double is the yarn over hook now remember these loops you've got your two there okay we don't want the first one we want that back one right there okay one half double in your second half double in your third half double in your fourth half double in your in your fifth i can get that through there <laughs> a nice tight stitch there okay so oops that didn't work there we go chain one turn your work yarn over hook half double in your first second third fourth and fifth okay too easy too easy all right our piece right there this is where your measuring tape comes in i want you to keep doing your half doubles all the way across until you get to 17.5 oh it's too far away 17.5 inches or between 44 say 44.5 centimeters okay 17.5 inches 44.5 centimeters if your fella has a bigger neck keep going 
stop where you want because you've got your three button holes here now so if you do it too big you can always pop your button in that one there or if you do it even bigger you can pop it in that one there but if you do it too small you won't be able to adjust it so just keep going to the size of your gentleman's neck i'm doing a large you go ahead and do that now and i will meet you up when we're at the same measurements okay all right guys i have finished my little strap let's get our measuring tape out now it can be a little bit bigger it's okay try not to make it a little bit smaller but you can make it a little bit bigger this one's a little bit bigger it goes right up to 18 inches bring your thing over like that because your first buttonhole is there so you want to pop it right there so you literally want to pop your button there all right and then if your fella is a larger fella you pop it on the first buttonhole if he is a um, a medium fella you pop it on the second buttonhole and if he is a um, small fella you pop it on the third okay so in the meantime we're going to finish off our little strap okay where are we let's go load that up a little and just to finish it off you don't have to do anything fancy you just pull a loop through cut your work we're going to weave in this end real fast so there's our needle okay and what you're going to do is just quickly weave this end in now you can weave it in any way you like it doesn't really matter I just kind of find a little space somewhere anywhere pull the loop gently through oh that tails a bit too long <laughs> let's make it a bit shorter okay find some more threads pull it through okay easy easy all right there you go pop it through the other direction and you know me being a little stickler that i am i'm going to want to pop it through a third time but i'm thinking this is going to make this too tough so i say we leave it and there you go give it a cut give it a little tug and uh there you go oh you've got the other end oh weave in that other end and then let's get on with making our bow tie part oh this is a fun part we like this part because once the bow tie part is done the rest is easier so let's find a spot anywhere and i'll show you a little tip in that bow tie how to um oof, how to i've done that really tight haven't i give me one second <laughs> it's really really tight there we go I'll show you a little tip in the bow tie and that's how to um, sew crochet over that end and pull the end through so you can't see it that doesn't work with all projects but it does work well with a bow tie and you'll see that in the next few minutes because we are done with our strap yay <laughs> pretty coolio Woohoo! and there we go the strap is now done uh, you do have to pop your button on I just dropped one we're going to get another one <laughs> okay I'm doing well all right so there is your buttonhole where is it where is it where are your buttonholes oh it's on this end is it <laughs> it is too there it is all right no right or wrong side to your work so all you need to do if you if you've weaved in your ends that way then make that your right side yeah just find a spot where you can um, pop your buttonhole in you don't need a lot of thread for this part you can use whatever color you like i'm going to use a a green because oh just for fun i'm using a white button okay all right so you just find a place right in the middle of your work oh sorry guys all right so you just find a spot right in the middle of your work anywhere you like which right through some thickness there okay pop your thread through like so all right leave a little tail end pop your thread through the other side easy yep then pop your thread through anywhere you want grab your button and put it through any loop on your button okay pull your loop through or your thread through right there now just remember to position your button right in the middle of your work then pop a needle through one of the holes of your button 
bring it up through one of the other holes it doesn't matter where because you are going to I'm going to find one <laughs> there it is. there's one found one <laughs> all right now you're going to pop your needle through another hole wherever you find a space that's where you put it now we still I like to go across this way as well so I'm going to find another space there okay and pass it over to your next hole so I've covered all four sides not yet but I will in a minute just being careful not to go over go through that thread because you're going to need that thread later to wrap your to tie your straps up in the end so find another hole right there okay and then go through that last hole see so in a four button you're going through four holes and four sides so you're looking like a square on your button right you turn your work over like so you tie up your thread at the back in a knot right holding that needle still like that because we're going to weave in this end now and all you're going to do is weave in the end because you've tied it in a knot it's not going to come undone but weaving in that end just gives it that extra support I suppose you don't have to over fuss with weaving this end because you've already got a knot there right now you have to I'm trying to rush this bit guys because this is the part that I don't want to waste time on but I want you to see the all the threads are gone on this piece okay all right so we're going through another section that's all you're doing once and then twice there's once and you might you probably don't even have to do it twice but we're going to anyway just for fun just humor me you know that kind of thing <laughs> my regulars will say sure we'll humor you the newbies will say what is she talking about <laughs> there you go now just button your little um, piece and then we're going to get ready to make our bow okay now that button will be at the back all right and your bow will sit right in the middle there so that's your strap let's get on with your bow tie all right now to make the bow we're going to do the same thing as we did earlier with your strap we're going to be doing a normal slip knot over your finger okay yarn over your finger halfway the other one all the way over grab your hook and pop it through now this one is um, a lot easier okay all you're going to do is chain up to, uh, 22 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. All right, we are going to do half double crochets across. Now we are going to skip one chain, skip that second, pop your next one in that third right there. So yarn over hook, pull up a loop, yarn over hook, pull through all three loops on your hook. Now you know how to do half doubles we're doing them all the way across yarn over hook pop them in your next stitch yarn over hook pull up a loop yarn over hook pull through all three loops let's get a nice close-up so you can see the stitches yarn over hook pop it in that stitch pull up a loop yarn over hook pull through all three loops now you're doing that all the way across okay easy Go ahead and do that and I will meet you up. All right, guys, we are near the end of the row. Um, I'm going to show you a little trick of what to do with this tail because it's the bow part and we don't want that to be to be seen. So you're going to pop your hook in that very next stitch right there. Second last stitch. Now you've got the last stitch to go. So you pop your hook in that stitch and pull the loop through. Now before you pull the loop through, just drop it for a minute grab your mm, I'll bring it out so you can see what I just did there that's your normal working yarn okay all I did was drop the working yarn we're going to grab the tail end but I want you to pull it through but very loosely pull it through very loosely like that pop your hook back through those loops all three loops on your hook I'll show you close up there see I've popped it back through the, the loop is sitting there now you pick up your working yarn again 
and you pop your working yarn through the stitch as well okay it's just a little trick for this particular piece so we're going to turn our work okay chain up one and two and then we're going to pop half doubles all the way across and we're going to work over that tail end okay so half doubles oops pretend like that tail end is not there we'll put it at the back for a minute so you can see where i'm putting the hook i'm putting the hook through your v's all right so pop the tail end back you're going to work over that crochet over that tail end so pop your hook through your v going over your tail end with a normal half double oops and you're going to do that all the way across over your v's and over your tail end as well through your v's sorry through your v's right there and over your tail end easy easy all right what i'm going to do is bring that out a bit so you can see better so half double through your v stitch over your tail end again through your v stitch over your tail end until you've gone over it maybe five or six stitches like so give your tail end a cut now if you like you can cut it at the end i'm going to cut it now it's not going to come undone because we've worked in it and we've crocheted over it as well so what i would like for you to do now is to just keep going all the way across with your half doubles now the best part is guys you're going to do this for every row for about seven or eight rows however wide you want your bow to be i'll try and do seven rows then we'll come back we'll see how wide it is and we'll talk about what we're going to do next in the next step so just keep going all the way across making sure you get to the end of that row like so okay easy easy it's a relatively easy bow tie okay you could have used wool you could use any materials you like i've just used cotton okay so there's oh i'm out of frame aren't i sorry guys i wasn't able to frame doing that recording before um there's your one row okay so there you go chain one and two and then you skip that very first gap there jump into your second one and you're doing half doubles all the way across super easy huh super super easy i know right okay half doubles all the way across the row head off and do your seven rows actually we might just go ahead and finish off this row and i'll tell you why because at the end of this row we have chains to go through and i want to make sure that you get through that very last chain stitch so just keep going all the way across until we get to that last chain stitch we are nearly at the end of the tutorial once we do this bow it's a matter of doing a wrap around with our colored yarn and yay we're nearly there okay so what we'll do if you look carefully we've just done our oh sorry get a close-up guy sorry we've just done our second last stitch or our third last stitch actually because this one right here belongs to that half double right there then you've got all your chains here you can't miss these chains if you do you're going to be one double crochet short and your work is going to go like that and if you look at it it's already going that way so we have to make sure that we get into that very last chain which is yarn over your hook that very tight tight let's see if i can get real close for you there very very tight see that little tiny little speck there <laughs> that's where you need that tiny little speck you like that not the chain down here but the little chain tight chain right there okay so there's your one and that's your last see how it's already straightened up that row so now when you look at it you're looking at it straight okay all right so there you go now turn your work again chain one and two half double in the very next stitch there not this first chain your very next stitch right there one 
and all two and all the way across as we discussed before all right so go ahead and do uh, four more rows and meet me back here and we will talk about measurements okay all right so here we are at the end of our rows now I can't remember if I did four or five <laughs> it doesn't really matter all you need to do is remember that in your length across here you should have at least have oh, let me get a nice close-up for your here we go at least have about six inches or 15 centimeters so when you close it up like so you've got plenty of bow to go okay all right so just remember that's what you need in in the length and in width you can make it as wide as you like you like just remember if it's the cotton that I'm using it's really quite soft so if I made it too long it's going to get all floppy but making it like that um, it'll be nice and you know tight now for the next part you will need your colors you will need your black and you will need your yellow okay we're going to start off with the black first what we'll do because we are at the end of this row we are going to pull a loop through cut your thread and there you go now you're going to grab your needle very quickly because we're not going to worry too much about this part with the thread you really need to make sure that it's actually weaved in properly okay so just grab it doesn't matter which way you put it just pop it through one of the stitches here and just in and out of your oh you're too far away sorry guys okay so just pop it through your stitches at the back anywhere you like just weaving in and out anywhere you want you can be splitting your yarn like I usually do okay like so and then just go back the other way whichever way you like all right and then all you need to do is give it a cut you're set all right now that can if you want that can be the back of your work okay it doesn't matter which way you put your bow tie um, because we went sorry guys we went this way and then we turned and we went the other way but pick a side where you know that end is not in and just this is the way it's going to look like that okay but don't worry about that yet we're going to start off with our black so grab your black thread now with your black thread um, in your case or in my case I'm using a four ply so I'm going to have to double it a little bit because um, you really should be using the eight ply all right there we go okay now what your best bid to do is I from rough measurement oh sorry guys let's move all this stuff right out the way so you can see better rough measurement is I've had 20 stitches across if you ended up with 21 it doesn't matter get as close to the middle as you can um, so you just go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten roughly as close to the middle as you can just pop your black loop through there like so just so you've got somewhere to work on and again roughly in the middle okay so then all you need to do is pop that loop at the back actually no don't do that give it a bit of a tug so you've got like oh, I don't know 15 centimeters whatever 15 centimeters is what is it 15 centimeters about six inches 15 centimeters maybe a bit longer if you like grab the other part of it your other side and just close it up like so and just wrap with your other side just a little bit you don't need to do a lot you want to see what it's looking like just stick it there okay that's all you're doing you're just wrapping around and you're not overdoing it you're just doing it a little bit and as you're doing it give that a bit of a tug pretty cool huh <laughs> um that'll do so i've just wrapped it around a few times as thick as you like give this a, a nice long tug as well a nice long cut nice long tug nice long cut as well all right turn it over 
Okay, and what you're going to do is just tie it in a bit of a knot right there. Just a quick knot like that. And another one. Just like that. Good. Okay. Now, just for good looks, <laughs> we're going to do the yellow. And with the yellow, we're not doing it as much. Okay, we're just doing a very minimal. So you're grabbing your tail end of your yellow, popping it away at the back. So grab this end. You're holding all your work at the back. So you're lifting up all these loops, holding it there, wrapping the yellow around just in the middle of your, again, there's no exact measurements, just as best you can. That's it. We don't really need much of the yellow. We're done. Okay? So now turn your yellow around. Give it a cut. And tie up your yellow. All right. Nice and tight. Done. Hold that there. Is that cute or what? <laughs> Pop it over there, grab your strap, turn it around. There's your bow tie. If you want, probably the best thing for you to do now is to take your button undone, okay? Grab your measuring tape, find the center of your piece. Now mine, let's say 43, half of 40 is 20, half of three is one and a half, so about there roughly, okay? Mine's roughly there. You don't have to fuss. Okay, you really don't. Turn your work over. Now this is where you grab your hook. Remember all these ends we had from our um, colours before? We're just going to pop our hook through any space we like, grab one of these ends and bring it through. Yep. Find another space and grab the opposite end. Grab the loop and pull it through. Now I've got four tails only because I didn't have an eight ply thread for the yellow and black so I used a four ply and doubled it. So all you're doing here is tying it in one knot for now. Let's try that again. <laughs> I'm doing well. Just for the first one, drop it, turn it over that way. Now you're going to grab, oops sorry, now See, you pulled your yellows through there. You're going to grab your blacks through the other side, just for fun. So you pull one through there. You grab another space anywhere you like, doesn't matter. And you pull the other one through right there. And guess what? You're going to tie that in a knot as well. Okay. This is the easiest part and this is the best part because it's the end. Grab another one, not there. Okay, turn her over. And there you go. Now if you find your little things a little loose, which it will be, we're going to do some weaving. All right, so here we go. There's my needle all threaded. Bring that up. What we're going to do, turn it over. Now I knew it wasn't going to hold properly, but I just wanted to tie it up there to keep it in place so that it doesn't move around. Now all you need to do is sew in the th through the thickness of your thread there and the thickness of your bow tie and just go in one way through another. Making sure you're only going through the thicknesses and not the front of the bow. There we go. We're going back the other way. Any which way you like, it doesn't matter. Okay, it's a little bit tight now, isn't it? <laughs> and one more time, okay? Easy. You can cut it into a knot or you can do whatever you like. I'm just going to cut mine now because that's gone through a gazillion times, hasn't it? That's one. Right. Um, still very wobbly and everything? Sure. So we're going to pass the other black through. And if it's still very wobbly, we're going to pass the yellows through. And that is the best way of keeping your um, project in place. Thread your needle. Remembering when you're doing this part here, you must try and keep it in the middle. There's your black. 
we're going to grow in a different area making sure you can't see it at the front can't see the needle here go through the thicknesses right there and again if it still doesn't look strong enough grab some of your green and go over it and over it until it looks like it's sitting nice and firm in place nice and tight now isn't it <laughs> very tight if you find right that after this it does fit in place you can just weave your little yellow end in a little bit at the back I think twice is done I don't know if I've done it twice or three times but twice is, <laughs> is good if you've done it a third time like I think I might have done that's fine too right and there's your bow is it sitting nice and stable maybe maybe not you know what we're gonna do we're gonna sew in the yellow as well all right so here we are at the yellow part now now I'm finding what's the the weakest part that you want to keep in place I'm finding down the bottom a little bit so what we're going to do I'm going to pass that yellow through all the way down the bottom but being careful not to show the front I can see that in front a little bit all right but we want to get the bottom part nice and strong as well as the top part okay so I'm going to go right down the bottom there I think that is strong enough <laughs> oh my gosh that is very strong I don't think that's going to come undone at all okay we've got one more end to weave in but let's have a look see does that sit nice I think it does it's supposed to sit that way so you've got a little bit of green showing like that it's gorgeous so I tell you what I'm going to do I'm just going to weave in this little end here I just thread that needle off air because I think I don't want you sitting there watching me thread the needle. It takes so long. And because I've got the two the two ends going through them, it takes even longer. So just find a spot to weave in. If you want to make it more thick, you can. I'm just, just going to weave in backward and forward. Okay. I think I just pinned myself in. You didn't see that, did you? <laughs> oh, gosh. Give it a cut. Grab your button do your button up anywhere you like on the smaller part the large the medium and the small turn your little bow tie over so that will sit under your fella's collar that part there and this is where the bow tie will be and how do you like the little yellow and <laughs> just readjust it if it's a little bit crooked <laughs> okay <Ta -da! laughs> doesn't it look cute <laughs> And as I mentioned in the promo, you could have done all of this part here in single crochets and you could have actually even done that in the single crochets. I did them in the half doubles so that you can actually see the stitch on air, but it still looks good in half doubles as well. So there you go, guys. There's your little um, St. Patrick's Day bow tie with a strap. Your fella can now enjoy St. Patrick's Day with his gorgeous little bow tie and his little coaster to match. Ta-da! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you haven't actually subscribed to the channel and would like to, make sure you click all. Once you subscribe, click all, and you'll receive all the tutorials in your inbox. This is the final item to our um, St. Patrick's Day series. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I have really enjoyed doing the St. Patrick's Day items. And remember how we crocheted in that end, how gorgeous. You can't tell where it is on the bow tie, all right? So if you would like to receive further tutorials in your inbox, you must hit subscribe, subscribe to all, like, share. And guess what, guys? Ciao for now.